The Committee of the Regions celebrates its 20th anniversary in 2014. This political assembly is the voice of European regions and local entities. They exchange experiences, discuss the real issues of interest for European citizens, and participate in the creation of EU legislation giving political advice to the other institutions, such as the European Parliament, the Council of the EU, and the European Commission. Selbstverständlich hat der Ausschuss der Regionen eine zentrale Rolle in der Europapolitik zu spielen. Did you know that three quarters of the policies decided at the EU level affect our everyday lives in our regions and cities? The economy, social affairs, territorial cohesion, education, youth, culture, energy, environment, transport. These are some of the issues where the Committee of the Regions stands up to defend the concerns of citizens from a local and regional perspective. Europe ne se réduit pas à Bruxelles ou à Strasbourg. L'Europe, c'est la diversité et la richesse de toutes ces régions, de toutes ces villes. The importance of the regional and local dimension has increased in Europe. In recent years, a number of member states have transferred major responsibilities to regions and cities, and even some regions are now represented in the Council of the EU. Being so close to the 500 million Europeans, you are a vital part of the European democracy. Did you know that regional and local administrations are responsible for one-third of all public expenditure? That they manage two-thirds of all public investments? Over the past 20 years, the Committee of the Regions has grown into an influential institutional player, and its competencies have increased with successive EU treaties. The first plenary session took place under the inaugurating presidency of Jacques Blanc. Nous pouvons, nous, Comité des Régions, contribuer à donner à ce squelette de l'Europe du muscle, de la chair et du nerf. During the presidencies of Pascual Maragall, Manfred Damea and Georges Chabert, the remit of the Committee of the Regions was enlarged to new areas and reinforced its democratic legitimacy. With Sir Albert Bohr, Peter Straub, Michel Delbar, Luc van den Brande, Mercedes Bresso, and Ramon Valcarcel, the Committee of the Regions continued to raise its profile as a policy shaper. Today, the Committee of the Regions counts 353 members, which are elected or accountable to regional or local assemblies. Appointed for five-year terms, they participate in the Committee's plenary sessions and at meetings of the thematic commissions, where they prepare and vote opinions. They belong to the five major political groups. Yet they remain in their local posts, close to their constituencies and citizens. They are the guardians of subsidiarity, ensuring that when the EU makes a decision, it does it at the most appropriate level of government. Multi-level governance is key for better and transparent policy making. And the Committee of the Regions provides a unique platform for exchange of experiences and best practice through networks and conferences between regional and local government. I am completely convinced that in the próximos 20 years, the Committee of the Regions will be decisive for the consolidation of democracy in the European Union. The Committee of the Regions will continue to give voice and visibility to the concerns of Europe's regions and cities. Its main commitment is to bring the European Union closer to its 500 million citizens.